We have Sarah O'Leary. Ladies and gentlemen, she's going to explain how life is a lot like improv. Hi, truth be told, I am um, a trap house uh, Gen Y fashionista. But I'm here today to tell you about how Second City Improv in Chicago, Illinois, two years ago changed my life. Second City is the largest uh, improv training center in the country. And the entire mantra is yes and. Never pull down someone you're working with, just lift them up. That is the culture of Second City, and that is a life-affirming and a life-changing idea. If you share a mindset, if you ET connect with others, yes, you will be successful. Not only inside an improv studio, but when you go out there in the real world. That's what the dean taught us. And frankly, you have to give yourself some vulnerability if you want to have any courage. And if you want to do good art, you have to be vulnerable, which means you have to trust the ones who are worth trusting who surround you. And the best darn stuff you're ever going to hear happens on the fly. That shit's funny. I've never heard anything funnier than my classmates. The stuff that they come up with without a script is amazing. But there's also a danger here. You can take the joke in the middle of a scene and kill the entire scene completely. So you never want to do that. You support and build up your ensemble and the whole group lifts. Over 80% of successful communication, according to psychologists, is body language. We are a distant community now. We do text messages and emails. We need to really reach out and see what other people are saying. And when you look someone in the eyes, look at their eyes with big baby deer eyes. It's wildly important to connect. Don't look at their feet, don't look at your PDA. Look them in the eyes and you'll learn more about their situation. <laughs> well, you know, you always have to look at life as an adventure. Expect the unexpected and life will be crazy fun. Now, frankly, if you're busy trying to cover your ass, you're never going to fully live. You have to live an authentic, wholehearted life by giving it your all and taking chances. So as Yoda would say, cover your ass. No, you do. Albert Einstein, smartest, one of the smartest men of all time, he gets it right here. The best two classmates in my group, one ran a Verizon store and the other one ran a pet shop. The two who are most challenged, by the way, they were attorneys. And as Chris Farley, a fellow alum, would show in this, if it was set up as video, is whatever you do, take it all the way. Just sell the hell out of it. When you're working in an ensemble, you lift the group. You never go out for yourself, but the gifts that you have to give is what really com completes the ensemble. And if I can give you one piece of advice, get the best people around you in and outside of improv to surround you because if they're authentic they're going to give you great work and they're going to they're going to support you and lift you this is a crucial thing that you learn on your first day of improv and that is the only moment you can live in is the moment you're in you can't live in the past you can't live in the future you have to hold on to what you have this is also a really crucial message that we learned and that was you, you don't, you, you'll fail all the time. As one of, my, one of my professors said, you're gonna suck a lot. You're gonna fail miserably a lot, but never quit until the director says, and scene. Of course, we all need more applause in our life, unless of course we're Gen Ys hang, you know, handing out participation medals. So, so we do need to applaud each other we need to play more. We need to have unscripted play. We need to go out and do things like we did when we were a child because that opens up our innovation and our creativity. And if you do not believe in anything, have faith in something. Have faith in yourself, your gift. Have faith in the people around you who are going to support you, who are worthy of your trust. 
and that will save you. And as Tina Fey, also my favorite Sarah Palin, points out, get in the darn game. Don't sit on the sidelines. Don't be some bonehead who doesn't think you're worthy of it. You can do anything you put your mind to. You just got to go for it. The universe is very forgiving if you give it your best shot. And scene. <laughs>